What's up guys? Welcome back. Get that piece of line out of my mouth. This week, if I don't knock the lens caps over, we are gonna fish with one of my favorite baits, period, for just getting bites. So um, if you're struggling, this, that, the other, and you need a bite, I'm about to show you one that will get you a bite. And that be Mr. Shake'em Head. So there's a hundred different shaky heads on the market. There's merit to each and every one of them. But the one I like, and we're actually gonna make these, uh, so check next spring, we should have these, is kind of a flat head on top, so it'll stand like this under the water. But the important thing is you see the screw lock is on the shank of the hook, right there on the shank. So what that does, a lot of shaky heads have a little point come out this way, right? We've all seen that. When that point comes out this way, you lose the bite of your hook. All of a sudden, this part of the hook is sitting dead level where that thing comes out. So it's not a big deal so much on smaller fish, but if you get a good one, it's hard to bury that hook in it. So that's why I prefer to do it this way. Um, this is a Zoom trick worm. This one I think is called like watermelon candy red or something. There's, you can't go wrong using any kind of watermelon, green pumpkin, uh, you know, just the standard natural looking baits. I've also caught them on red shad, black blue, uh, you know, California 420 is another good one. Um, but really just find a color you like and that you have confidence in and odds are that color works on another bait it'll work on a shaky head too. So I just, real simple, you thread him up there, like so, come down here, come in, go just out, cover the point of your hook, and that's what you're left with. When it's in the water, that'll sit there and that little fat tail will just say, eat me, eat me. So we're gonna try that for a little bit this afternoon. Hopefully I'm right. This, this uh, pond, lake, whatever here at Sanctuary Lodge, has got more grass in it than I, I'm used to, of course, I've never been here this late in the year. So if we can't find that hard line of the grass, then uh, the edge of the grass, then we'll, we'll make an adjustment and change things. But we're losing daylight. So look, these things ain't gonna catch themselves. Let's get after it. What I do with a shaky head is throw him out there, let him sink, let him get to the bottom. So just watch your line, it's on the bottom. Then I'll pick up, and it's kind of in the name, I get to the top, kind of like you Texas rigging, and then I just shake him a little bit, make that tail bounce, then back down, and do it all over again. But overall, I keep my rod pretty high while I'm fishing him. I don't ever come back down very far. I like to stay in contact with him. This thing with shaky head is they'll eat it and you'll gut hook them before you even know what happened. And you don't want a gut hook fish. I mean, if you're keeping them, that's fine and that's all within your right. But most of the time I'm throwing bass back. I prefer to eat crappies. So I try to release them in as good a shape as possible. Uh, and to do that, you just really can't gut hook them. Boy, there's a lot of grass right there. That, that grass line comes way off of there. Oh, he's a big one, boys. That's one problem with a shake em head. They don't discriminate. You will catch a bunch of them this size. <laughs> this might be a bluegill here. No. It's turning more bassy the longer I... There we go, that's a nice one. A little better. It ain't a big one, but better. Better than that first one. Not by much. We're up to 11 inches now. <laughs> oh, they cut the sides off of you. So, 
But, you know, if you're fishing around rock, you really want to shake it and let that head kind of tick, 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 tick on that rock. Sound like a crawfish down there messing around or... Uh, it's unfortunate. We don't get to fish that kind of stuff. I wish we did. I wish we had rock and junk like that for them to get on. But we're basically trees, brush piles, grass. That's about it. We don't have a whole lot of... We ain't got a whole lot of arrows in our quiver here in Louisiana. Look at that. That gum. Punk. <laughs> For those of y'all thinking I was making that up. I ain't one of them. I'll tell you if I just move get hung up. Hunter can attest to that. I ain't scared of it. I've done it before. And guess what? I'll most likely do it again. good when you can't see the shaky head. Well, that sucker pours a rail too, ain't it? Oh, that ain't bad. Right in the top. Skinny, skinny mini. I hate it for them. Boy, that's hard to leave that. It's hard to drive away from some of the froggiest looking junk you've seen. But I want to catch them on spinning pole. Part of fishing too is knowing what you're not very good at and breaking your line off. That's a good in there, golly. And working on what you're not good at. And me, if I had to pick my biggest weakness other than getting tangled in this line like this, good Lord, please don't make a knot. I ain't done nothing to deserve this. But I'm, when I tell you I'm hog tied, Please don't make a knot. Please don't. Uh oh, you're gonna make a knot. It won't be a bad one though. I think it's just wrapped around. And here. Well, this may be the end of the shaky head video. All because one broke me off. 